Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if you're a new viewer and wondering what the hell I'm doing. Well, I did a previous video where I made a Pico Code 100 point, kind of looked like a concrete point by painting some acrylic paints on it and you can check that out by the link above about now. But it came out and it looked pretty horrific. I manually made the colour and it was a bit blotchy. Since then, I've ordered myself some Railmatch concrete coloured paint. I'm going to try to do something slightly different but with an airbrush. And off camera, I have done a little bit of work. So here is a Pico Code 100 long left and I've coated it in some primer. I don't think I actually needed to do that at all, but I did. I haven't done the back, but you can see that's what it looked like when I hand painted it. This is kind of what it looks like when I have coated it using an airbrush. I've also done the same on these points. This has been airbrushed just on the rear, but not on the front. And I'm figuring I probably don't need to airbrush it on the front if I'm just going to use some Railmatch acrylic. And that is what we're going to look at today. We're going to spray the Railmatch acrylic on here and on here and see how it all looks. First of all, I've got to mix it up. I'm not kind of sure what the ratio needs to be here, but I have picked up from Hal's model shop some of this and uh, some of that uh, acrylic thinner, which is a waterborne thinner, which I believe is the correct thing to have with this. I'm gonna get my compressor out, make some space, and we can give it a shot. So I ended up adding about 40% uh, thinness to this and I used my paint shaker there just to, to do the shaking. The first time through the gun it wasn't really coming out very well. I had to take the whole gun apart and re-clean it completely. But I eventually got it all working and as you can see it did spray out quite nicely and quite evenly over the entire set of points. And I had four in total to do. And I had to make sure I did both sides and I did one coat and it came out really nice. And here is the finished article with a bit of rust added to it just to uh, make it look all right, which I think it does. Anyway, if you enjoyed, hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell. See you again soon. Bye for now.